Hey team, Rob here. We're back for another video. Today we're joined by a special guest. We got Matt Fairbrother. Hey guys, how's it doing? He's on the scene. He's slowly recovering from a wrist injury and uh, set him back a fair bit. You should check out Matt's Insta. There's a uh, wee clip of the crash on there. It'll, it'll make you go, ooh. But anyway, Matt's back, sort of. He's uh, only a hard tail and he's going to take us for a lap down Vic Park, but not on the usual stuff. He's going to show us some uh, sneaky, steep, slippery trails. We're going to follow him down. Luckily, we're on the big bike. Uh, Matt's on the hardtail, so hardtail and recovering from injury, we may have a chance of keeping up. So we'll, uh, we'll just follow him and we'll see where we go. So let's get going. And he's gone. <laughs> And just like that, Matt is gone. So, so much for. <laughs> yeah, we don't really jump. You all know that, though. <laughs> right, what are we looking at, Matt? Down pedal fine? Tower's bone detached. I don't know. Do you want to go have a walk? Or is it just like go straight down there? Let's go. I'd say it's worth, worth walking. Alright, let's have a look. <laughs> Uh, I'd say just stick stick wire in the corners and you'll be sweet. No, oh, you just sort of tonk tonk down there and stop and then yeah. the the one at the bottom is kind of the tightest and most unpleasant. But... Yeah. Well, uh, do you wanna do you know what I mean? We might not go down there like that, but maybe. Oh. Once we Jump do. down that boom down, down there and just check out that, that last corner. Just make sure that gets sweet. <laughs> Alright, just around the outside, around the outside, just sort of squirm around there. And then down. Yes. Yeah? Right, we just got to get down this first part, and uh, yeah, it's always good, eh? Um, that looks disgusting. This is kind of the one I go in most of the time. Um, <laughs> seems kind of unpleasant, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> this is this one here. That looks unpleasant. Lines tight corner. That this corner is like I've, your chances are ninety five percent that you're not going to make it. I'm not keen on that. I'm not. And then there's another one over there that I built, which is like. I'd say the easiest, but then it's got a few corners that you kind of got to endo and like flip, flip the back wheel up and over. So there's a few options. Um, I'm going to check out the far one. Yeah. Oh, this looks a bit better to start off with. Yeah. Is it stay sort of like that or is it get? Um, there's a couple bits that like that. All right. Above us. All right. Well, 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 yeah, this looks more promising. The easiest one. All right. 
and there's kind of one bit I think we'll stop and check out. Yeah. Than that pot piece. Oh, yeah. But just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good to go. Other than that. You just gotta come up high. And Try and get out here. Yeah, you don't want to do your turning here just because it's messy. You want to do your turning early and shoot down it. This one. Hey, anyway, we can we can do it. With you can't want to come come up here if you can. And point point yourself down it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Get my bike on and show you how it's done. Uh, yeah, we could do help. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Right. Oh, hey, and he's got the tree on board. Oh, well, we're definitely not going to do that. Well, uh. We'll try to do something. This should be right. Should be right. I think it'll be sweet. Oh, what a stop for. <laughs> you need speed, eh? So if you want to do that, that go and do that shoot again. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just no. A I don't think I want to do that again right now. Or you can just just walk over to that other piece. Does that join up down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's too hard to start there. Yeah. Um. I also hit. Oh, I don't know. I get in my when I got like knees and elbows and full face on. I always mentally feel a lot better about doing stuff. Yeah. I feel very vulnerable like this. It's <laughs> I think if I looked at this, like riding along and looked at that from the bottom, I'd be like, no, nah, I won't ride down there. <laughs> down this one here. That easier. I can handle that. No. <laughs> um, I don't actually ride much in Vic anymore, eh? Yeah, if you just watch your speed, you'll be, you'll be sweet. I don't think, it's a bit steep, but I don't think there's anything which is going to catch you out. That, that starts the hardest bit. Ugh. But that's not a, that's not a jump, you can just... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. You can make it a jump if you want to, but. Oh my god. And he's down there already. Oh. <laughs> All right. Who? When? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, I can. <sighs> oh, I can't do it. I got new sneaky, sneaky outside line. Right, start from here. My line was so much better. Oh. Yeah, man, that was good. Oh, that rolling was just <laughs> like it's stupid because it definitely wasn't as steep as that. But just having that rock on the on the entry and then like because this just has a nice big run yeah, out yeah it's yeah and again like i reckon that with full pads and a full face i've tons of excuses like it's after work i haven't ridden in a week <laughs> but no this is chill man yeah and it's quite cool to see See stuff that's not just the normal trails. The way you climb down the side down here is perfect. Oh hell no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> not that today mate. So wait, we'll pop up to the skid site and we can get to a, another zone. Oh yeah. We'll do that. All right, mate, quick question time. So you've done uh, you've done a few Everests now, yeah? Yeah. Were you three proper ones? Two? Four. Four? Yeah. What do you reckon is the hardest part about Everesting? Um, when you're like halfway in and then you like think about it and then you've still got half, <laughs> you know, you're halfway and you've got another half to go. And you're just so, so shattered by that point. The, uh, the ones where you go up and down the same row, is that easier or harder than when you do the Vic Park 10,000 going up dyers and then down ponos? Um, I haven't thought about that, to be honest. <laughs> you kind of just zone out and get on with it. Yeah. Because if you guys haven't found Matt's we are right up on his Vic Park 10,000, go check it out. I'll try and find a link and put it in the description. But he rode up dyers to Vic Park to the top, turned around, and what did you do down Sesame? Uh, Shazers. Sesame Shazers ponos. and the Ponos. Down Bowen Vale and then back up the hill. What was that like 20, 20, 26 hours? 26 times, 26 oh, laps, it was like 24 hours. That is savage, man. So yeah, I'll try and find that wee ride up and I'll put a link in there, but that's mad respect, man. All right, guys, well, that was a, uh, a lap down Vic Park with Matt. Thanks for taking us down the hill, Matt. Oh, that's all good. That was sick, mate. We, uh, we definitely rode some stuff that we wouldn't normally ride. So yeah, it's quite cool. So 
uh, yeah, if you like Matt, uh, maybe chuck him a follow. He's a bit quiet at the moment because he's getting over that broken wrist. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so the broken wrist, the hard tail, that didn't slow him down. We weren't really at any advantage there. He's a uh, shredder's just going to shred, eh? <laughs> So anyway, if you like this, let me know. We uh, we may hit up some other local shredders, get them to take us down some of their favourite trails that uh, I normally wouldn't explore, and you guys might not either. So if you liked it, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Until then, guys, ride on.